Hey YouTube, um, before I get to Sketchbook 6, there isn't near as many drawings in Sketchbook 6 as the other ones. I have some uh, drawings that I've done in the past that would be about the same time, like 2008, to, or not 2008, 2018, 2019, etc., 2017, that I've torn out of sketchbooks, sketch pads that I can share with you that also is with my art progress. So here we go. John Lennon. He's kind of tricky to draw because I had to draw his glasses in there too. But um, once you kind of get familiar with drawing him, he, he comes around. He comes through with more like shading and highlighting. But I think this one turned out pretty good. That one was in 2018. These are 11 by 14 as well. Jim Morrison. This is 2017. And you can see where I use the, the black felt pen to do his jewelry. I use marker, colored pencil on the side of his face, and some of his skin tones, and some of the gray pencil, and then white pencil. And for the strands in his hair, since it was a uh, black marker or gray marker also, I used white gel pen to highlight his hair. Okay, and someone asked me to do The Godfather, Marlon Brando. I did this back in 2019. And I'd never drawn Marlon Brando before. I've seen the movie, but I've never drawn him before. And, but I had a lot of people saying, his eyes look real. Well, I think he turned out quite well, considering the fact that I'd never drawn him before. But this is, some of it is a marker, and some of it is colored pencil as well. Maybe a little bit of like through here, like your gel marker. Freddie Mercury. I drew this after I saw the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. I just absolutely love that movie. And he was such a phenomenal singer. But anyway, did this in 2019. This is gray marker, black marker, and just colored pencil. A little bit of uh, black felt pen through his mouth and then in his eyes just highlight 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 okay. Kobe and Gigi I just couldn't believe what happened. I thought that was so sad, and I saw this picture of them, and I thought it was absolutely precious. And this is just marker. You can tell by the, the strokes in the, the paper that it's marker. And a lot of this, some of this is that black felt pen that goes into the clothing and everything. And then, you know, your, your darker pencil and uh, your lighter pencil that's blended into the darker pencil and eraser for highlights. Okay, oh, well, I shouldn't. I have some horror movie art, and unless you specify, I almost posted one of them, but I won't uh, unless you specify, so, but I do have some horror art. Okay, this one, Bruce Lee. I did this one not too long ago. This is paint, and I'm not finished with him, as you can see. But in this particular picture, he has sweat beads all over him. And I was like, I'm going to see if I can try to paint the sweat beads. So I'm not through with this one. But I think he's turned out quite all right. I think his skin tone is turning out good. Mr. Miyagi. I love Mr. Miyagi. And I saw this picture of him and I was just like, I have to try him out too. And this is just a sketch. All I've done is just sketched him, defined him a little bit with a black felt pen, and blended him. I've not added any colored pencil to him, you know, like gray or black. I've not done any of that. And uh, I'd like to paint him, but I don't know how that's going to work out yet. But I did him 
about the same time that I worked on Bruce Lee. Okay, um, I'll just go ahead and post it. Anthony Perkins, the movie Psycho. I have seen this picture off and on for a few years and considering it's a black and white photograph, I was like, I wanna try and paint it. Well, it's one thing to try and use colored pencils in a black and white photograph and try to recreate the same look. Well, <laughs> it's completely different whenever you use paint. But I think he's turning out all right. I, I just think the picture of him is kind of cool and I saw that and I was like, hmm, try it out. 2021. Tall man. I think it's Scrim. Right here, this kind of flubbed up a little bit. It's that white gel marker and it went across a marker. Darker marker. I just rhymed, sorry. And uh, it came through kind of a green color. But anyway, his face this time is in more of paint. And this is your felt pen. This is, uh, and all this is water-based acrylics. It's 11, uh, 11 by 14. I, I don't try oil-based paints. <laughs> Too messy. Mm. Well, I might as well post him. Okay, here's a horror art. Pinhead. 2020 and I try to every Halloween I'm I'm a horror movie fan but every Halloween I try and draw horror you know icons from horror movies whatever try to but this is not the best of my ability I can do better but I I'm quite pleased with how he turned out this does have paint on it this has um, some marker on it, some colored pencil, as you can see, on his forehead. But um, he, it took me about three or four tries to redraw him, to get him the way I want him to look. Okay. This one, I've always been fascinated with this girl's eyes, Af girl from Afghanistan. But uh, not too long ago, well, about two months ago, uh, after my mother passed away, I was just sitting there and I was just going on the internet. I was like, found a picture of her. And I was like, I'll try and draw her. So this is what I came up with. I would like to paint her at some point. I needed something to do. I needed something to draw, get the energy out. But... Uh, anyway because I just had anxiety really bad since my mother passed away but um, anyway this is what I've come up with I've not I've just blended pencil uh, added some black uh, writing pen and that's it but at some point I'll paint her Okay, this one, Santa Claus, got to like Santa Claus. This one is a little bit flubbed up, but I'm going to paint over that eventually. I just kind of stopped, but this is a watercolor pen yeah, on the most part of it. And then I'm going to go back over it with water-based acrylics, even on his, his uh, beard and his hair and his hat and even in the snow, his face, so. Okay. I think I did this back in 2018 and I just kind of stopped. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, I think he's turning out okay. But in the same sense, I'm the one drawing it, and I get a bit, bit obsessive with what I draw. But I see where um, 
I could redraw it, you know, I could redo it or something. But I, th I think, like, the, the wood on the guitar and stuff is turning out okay. It just, it, to me, it looks like it could be redone. I'm looking at the time on the video. Some of these I can post at another time. Okay, this one. I love Lucy. Never drawn I Love Lucy before. Never drawn Lucy. But uh, I had a family member ask me, and I'm slowly working on her, you know, working on Ethel and Lucy. And I think it's turning out okay. And eventually, once I get, and this is just the basics of like, you know, your mechanical pencil, your felt point pen, your, uh, and maybe at some point uh, painting it because it's all black and white also. It's got the gray tones and stuff in it also. But I'd like to attempt to paint it at some point. But anyway, oh, and sorry about this. Let's see, I've got 11, 11 and a half minutes. Let's see. Sketchbook 6 is more horror art, so I won't show any of that hardly. But I did try Mr. Rogers. you got to have a Mr. Rogers in there. He's out in 2020 when I did this. Background is paint, and this is colored pencil, marker, marker on his hair. Not marker, colored pencil on his hair. And then just a uh, colored pencil blended with um, white. And then he's got some marker going through here. And then find uh, that felt point pen going through his clothing. Anyway, and in his mouth as well. Okay, and I'll show you my recent paintings. 16 by 20. My family member asked me to do this for her. I need to touch it up a little bit. But um, water-based acrylics. <sighs> Chewbacca, 16 by 20. Not finished with it. Still adding like snow effect and stuff like that. Need to uh, bring this detail work in. Sixteen by twenty water-based acrylics, Jean Grey and Storm. Not through with these. Still working on deciding on how to do this right here. Superman. See, I need to touch this up through here too. Uh, water-based acrylics, sixteen by twenty. He still needs to be touched up and cleaned up. And now I'm working on this one. Native American girl, black and white, and gray. So this is 16 by 20, it's just horizontal. I'm working on detail work and the feather work. But I think she's coming along pretty good. Still needs to be cleaned up a bit. And some of the, you know, the feather work, bead work, I'm gonna have to bead all of this. So that's gonna be quite the challenge. Okay, I have just a little bit left. Wolverine. Got a request for Wolverine. Still a long way to go on this guy, but I think his skin tone. This is first couple of layers of paint. This is 12 by 16. Water-based acrylics. And then this is first couple of layers of paint. <laughs> Wolverine doesn't really look like him, but it needs to be cleaned up also. Um, 12 by 16 as well. As I said, first couple layers of paint and water-based acrylics. Okay.
that's it for me. So I'll see you guys later, and you guys have a good evening. Thank you for your patience and watching these progress videos. See you later. Bye.